What is up guys, the Blixer again, welcome back to Men of War Assault Squad 2 and Rob's Realism Mod. We're back in the Pacific with another beach landing and you know, I'm starting to long for the beaches of Europe and Africa, anywhere but the Pacific because we've been here for a really long time. But then you surf the workshop as one Men of War fan does and uh, you find another beautiful terrible map and you're like, oh shit, here we go again. So... <laughs> I guess we're going to be seeing that in the near future. But uh, in today's video, we are doing a fictional battle on a fictional map. Uh, this is Castle Kaito by Mandu Productions. Shins, shins. And, um, well, um, for those of you who do subscribe to this mod, your game might crash by simply just downloading it. It's weird. It, there's some malfunction with a file. At least that's the problem I had, so I'm going to give you guys a quick tip. Find the file in the workshop folder, you gotta go through the numbers, but it should say in the error message that pops up when your game will refuse to start and crashes, um, where it is located. You just take that and put it in your maps folder, right? And then you just delete the mod and you consider it done. That's not gonna give him any subscribers or stats on the workshop, I'm sorry, but there's something wrong, that's what I had to do. But anyway, yeah, there's always a workaround. If you find a problem, you work around it. Um, and you make the dough. Anyway, guys, so, uh, this is what we're gonna do. I have to, though, say that this could be my, my most fine-tuned landing ever. I've never gone through so much scripting to get this the way it is. And I, I, I gotta tell you, though, I've, I've shot myself in the leg because I'm never doing landings like I've done them before. There are so many waypoints, there are so many scripts, there are so many triggers, but it's all in the purpose of making this look beautiful and feel realistic. So the next time we hit the beaches of Normandy, you're gonna see units come out that Higgins boat with that ramp down. They're gonna be running to all kinds of cover. They're not just gonna be jumping over the sides and swimming around in the water and being dropped off in a pool of blood, essentially. That's what happens when the mortar hits. And that is usually why my landings, well, that's why a lot of infantry just lay dead in the water, because they get shot down, they don't know where to go. So you're gonna see some in incredible shit. So credits to Stealth Bomber 123 I gotta say, he's a really talented guy. Um, his tutorials, it, they take a while to go through. He's like me when making tutorials, we're, we're just, you know, we brain fart and we think of other things and we get a little lost. So uh, no, no, in, 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 in no way, in no means way or shape or form or possible. What did you see there? That's the brain fart. I was trying to figure out what I was going to say. I'm not trying to shame him for the way he makes his tutorials. They're really easy to follow, but they're, they're always, they were a little fun. It's a little fun to listen to him talk sometimes. So credit to you, Stealth Farmer. You're a good guy. Some of the things in that uh, beach landing tutorial were a bit unnecessary. Some of the scripts, some of the things that I could work around and do different. But in, it, 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 I would not know how to do this without his help. So Stealth Bomber, he's a legendary Men of War tutorial maker. And thank you for everything you've done. Because without you, I would not know how to script the battles the way I do. So shout out to him if he's still alive or if he's still making videos or whatever. I think I have him on Steam, but he, he's like not active. He's probably coding for NASA or something, making space rockets and shit. Because he's that smart. So, um... I have done a few tweaks to this map. This is not what yours is going to look like. I've upped mine a little bit with more cover. I've added some bunkers here and there. I've got some machine gun bunkers here. Uh, we have this thing that I think is going to catch my attention this whole battle. It's this 200 millimeter rocket piece that just makes big clouds of blood everywhere. It's rockets drops, and that's amazing. Uh, we're going to see some castle guards coming in to reinforce later. I've made these custom. So we got these guys. They look awesome. You gotta tweak your Japanese troops sometimes. Some some units I really go into detail with, but with the Japanese, I just put put them down. But this time, I've actually spent some time making them. Um, and yeah, this this beach landing is gonna be brutal. Brutal. It's gonna be bloody and brutal. This is legitimately a fictional battle. It's gonna be arcade-ish in a way, and I think a lot of you guys are gonna like it. The kids are gonna be down with this kind of action. So without further ado, let's go ahead and click that start button and just. Watch, you're gonna, if you compare this landing to the previous one I did, you're gonna see such mass massive differences with the way the boats and the infantry do behave one once they land. And it's worth all the effort. It's worth the effort. It's just worth it. Uh, I don't mind spending half an hour extra on the scripting and coding to make it look like this, because it, because it is a, a much superior uh, experience. It is time for me to level up my game as well. Um, and that is what I've done. So here comes the boats. I think you guys know what's gonna happen next, but I want to show you up close. And this is the way to do it in the future. Look and behold, that ramp 
map is dropping and the infantry is running out in all kinds of directions and the Japanese machine guns are gonna start firing at him. Oh, Jesus! We got the second platoon landing back there on the right side. Find cover! So we got like a thousand Marines landing today, no joke. That rocket! Oh. Not a lot of infantry for it to hit, but that happened. We got more troops. Move, Marines, go, go, go! We are taking this goddamn castle! Wounded! Corman! Oh yeah, boy! Let's go, Marines! So, I have no idea who's gonna win this one. But it's gonna be crazy. I'm gonna try and give you guys the close-ups you want, because you like them. It's a lot of Japanese machine guns just everywhere. And I can't wait to see that rocket fire again. Whoa! What the fuck? What just happened? I think they messed up their, uh, something went wrong over here. Something definitely went wrong. I think there was a missing ignition or something. Okay, 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 okay. Because it looks amazing. Can I fix this? Can we fix this? Can we fix it? I don't know, bro. Can we fix this? We, we gotta give it a try. I mean, I'm not by any way, shape, or form here trying to get, Oh. Can you just come here and look at this mess and be like, oh shit. We, we're not fixing this, Colonel. We're not. Well, we had one good rocket. We'll, 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 I, I promise you we'll show more rockets in the future. I did my best to save that, but it just it just exploded. The, the Japanese fucked it up. I don't know what they did. Anyway, guys, we're going to move over here to the right side. That might be the saving grace of these Marines. And I swear to God, man, I did not code in some artillery or no nothing. That was just insane. All the rocks and sandbags flying all over the place. So we got a lot of Marines here on this right side as well. And we just got boats coming in. Boats going out. It's just endless. But the Japanese machine guns are holding firmly even without that rocket support. We do have some more pieces of artillery further back. So it's not going to be a explosion-free experience. Oh, there we go. But yes, more of those 200 mil rockets in the future. There's nothing stopping me from making a dedicated rocket video. Rockets of war. Men of rockets. Who knows? Okay, we're starting to get a bit of a footing here. Look at that platoon landing over there on the right side. And we got another platoon landing here in just a couple of seconds. Move, move, move! We're going to be throwing a whole regiment of marines at these guys. Let's have a quick look at the perspective of from the Japanese side over here. That's a machine gun with a jam. He's trying to fix that right now as we speak.
Okay, so we have the first batch of castle guards. Reinforcements. To protect the castle from the American invaders. I like to use a mix of uniforms. I'm not sure exactly what type of Japanese unit this is, but it, it just looks cool. They look a little Royal Guard-ish, you know? So, we've always commanded the attackers for the sake of some variety. I don't know, can we actually... Can we grab that machine gun? Let's give it a try. We're gonna do everything we can to bolster the defenses. Nah, they're getting shot dead. There are too many Marines here. That's a no-go. And we're starting to make our way up the hill now. Okay, that's the first wave deployed. Yeah, that was the first wave. That was a whole battalion. Platoon after platoon after platoon, and we're, get, we're getting troops up here now. Ooh, that mountain gun is still firing. Just look at the amount of bullets impacting that wall. The Japanese are so well protected behind those sandbags. Look, I love the way the AI always uses some terrain to crawl, like they're using these rocks for cover. And then as soon as they get past it, they start they start standing up and walking. So we have a breach here, and I mean, that explosion just messed up these walls completely. That was a big explosion. When 200 millimeter rockets go off, that's gonna be a big boom. You gotta fix your jam, bro. And if you're not gonna fix it, Pick up a rifle and fight. Or do, or do something. Just get that gun working again. There we go. Okay, second wave coming in. Oh, uh, we got uh, another batch of reinforcements. Yonkai! Yashimasu! Those are like the only recognizable sayings here from the game. The Japanese ones. So these guys are gonna be like moving up to, to let's let's do something hella cool. Let's take these guys and let's like occupy this wall here. Because I mean, can you imagine how badass that is gonna look once these guys like get set up here and start returning fire? It's like they're they're running into position. Look at them. That is awesome. Okay, the Marines have now... Oh, this is hella cool as well. Grenade! Oh, he's got it. He just had his helmet shot off. I think we got Marines trying to move up the center now as well. Yeah, we got Marines storming that wall. This is ah, so beautiful. Okay, we're rushing through now. Oh, you don't want to hear that click. Put some fire on him! Oh, oh, that's not good. Not good. Oh.
Don't you just love close quarter combat? Okay, they're starting to take this wall now. There could still be some defenders around here. They're clearing it out. Look at this guy. He's waiting for him. He's waiting for him. Oh. There's a few more here among the buildings. Now the Marines are pushing up through here in the center. We're not... This is 12... This is 11 FPS. As, as long as it's above 10, then it's not a slideshow. Yes, there's a minor FPS lag. I am trying to... I'm going to get a new computer soon. But we have to keep in mind there are probably a thousand troops. There's... There are even too many troops. Like, we don't need this many Marines, but... Let, let's be honest here. I did not expect that 200 mil to go down like that, so... It would have been a lot more even if that was going to fire a few more shells and maybe take out a few more Marines. Now we got the Castle Guards here holding out as well. Oh look, they're shooting from over the wall. That is so sick. Some really long grenade throws as well. We got Marines. They're surrounding the castle garrison. This is the last stand. Got him down. Got him down. Okay, we got that secured. Courtyard is secured. We're clearing up the... There's a few more defenders in here. This guy's not going to live for more than a couple of seconds if he runs out there. He's got a lot of Marines shooting at him. He's going to throw a grenade, though. No, he's going to die. Okay, I've had it with the Marines. I've bloody well had it with the Marines. Guys, before we crash the desktop, thank you guys for watching this video yeah i could imagine a whole lot of these would be dead to that 200 mil so but you know war happens shit happens battles happens things go wrong and it gave them a good luck a little bit of good luck that should be the last couple of votes coming in now though and i was expecting to need them to make this a very even fight but wow let's have a quick look at casualties you can tell five so many have died like no joke deadly deadly fight thank you guys for watching this we're down below the sevens and i don't i want to avoid them slideshow comments so thank you guys for watching this and i'll see you guys again ciao